Okay, uh, so first, uh, as, as usual, I would like to recap what we did uh, last lecture. So basically, we finish off with uh, sketching root locus. So we look uh, all the nine steps and based on the last examples, we managed to uh, finish until the last uh, steps in step nine. So let us recap the um, root local steps and exam examples last time. Okay, so first, uh, this this is the step by step. First, you have to determine the uh, the roots, the poles and zeros for the open loop transfer functions and sketch it in your uh, graph paper. Okay, and then uh, to determine the pattern of the root locus, we have to uh, to look into the step two, which says that locus lies on the left of an odd number of poles and zeros. So like this example, we have all together four, uh, four poles and zeros. So we choose the uh, left of the, the post number one and zeros, which happens to be on the number three. Okay. And then um, we should bear in mind that the number of locus will be the number of poles and the root locus always starts at poles eh? and then the end of the root locus will be either infinity or zeros so if you have zeros it should end to one of the zeros the root locus the 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 three or four of the root locus based on the number of poles one of it will be uh, will end at zeros and then a uh, number four and number five is about asymptotes so we have to find the point the, of the asymptotes and the angle of the asymptotes so we can draw the asymptote lines to get, to guide us in uh, sketching the the root locus and then uh, determine the breakaway point where we have two methods either we do the first one summation of poles equal to summation of zeros one over summation of um, breakaway point minus poles eh? and then one over a breakaway uh, points minus zeros so this is uh, actually the part that i ask you to do the exercise uh, at a padlet okay so um before class uh, i managed to look into the padlet and manner of you has submit the exercise so it is good for you to to get used to how to calculate the breakaway point so another method is by uh, doing the integrations and dk over ds equal to zero and then uh, if the root locus happen to leave or approach the real axis the angle should be 90 degrees and then if we have a complex conjugate open loop poles so we have to determine the departure angle using this formula where the summation of theta is actually the summation of um, the points the roots to the um, uh, the 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 angle of the roots of the con uh, the complex conjugate one of the one of the point to the other poles and zeros where poles will be summation plus and zeros will be minus eh? positive and negative here and then finally we have uh, the step nine which is uh, to determine the point of intersection to the uh, imaginary axis as well as finding the value of k for stability the, the step nine is basically referring to your previous notes and then we did uh look into these examples okay so i go to quick So, yang ini yang kita buat last time, the last example. Okay, so if you look at, this is the last example that we did uh, We did during our last class. Eh? So, if you look at these examples, we have poles and uh, we have zeros here. And then we have uh, poles. And then we also have 
This is called a complex conjugate. The rules, or in this case, poles. Okay, so all the rules that we learned, step one to uh, step one to step eight, will be applied in, in here. Eh? So we also look into the examples and uh, how to uh, to solve this problem. So basically, finding the poles and zeros here. So we have poles five and zeros one, and then. Step two, basically determining the pattern, uh, the pattern of the root locus, and then uh, finding the starting point and so forth. And then we, this is actually step number one to number three. Okay, so we have hey, so the sensitive pula in the yes, Okay, so we have here P one, P two. P3 and then P4, P5. Okay, so this is for poles, and then we have one zeros here. Okay, and then the the pattern, the blue, the, the circle that I did is actually stand for step number two, the odd of the poles on zeros on the real axis. So we have one, one, two, three, four. So odd one and three. Okay, one and three. And should it should be on the left, okay. And then number four, we determine the asymptote lines and asymptote angles. So for D, D referring to number of poles minus number of zeros. In this case, it has four. So four, this is the pattern. Eh? So the last example, kita buat on D equal to three. So sixty, one hundred and eighty, and three hundred. So in this case, we have four. So this is uh, for D equal to 4. And then we determine the uh, PG. So PG we have minus 1.5 using this formula. And then uh, number 6 is finding the breakaway point. Okay. So this one will be a little bit long. So we just take the number. Okay. And then uh, this is for step 4. Step, uh, step 4 to step 5. The PG here and the asymptote lines. And then uh, this is for step number six, finding the step number six and seven. Okay, finding the breakaway point here where the, the two poles to break. Okay? One going up and then another one going down, the red and uh, the green. And then uh, step number seven, either it... Um, meets uh, arrive or departs it should be the tengah ni the real axis missed it nine straight line eh? straight line so that it can produce the uh, 90 degrees and then finally uh, we determine because kita ada complex number here mana tadi here so kita nak tahu dia keluar dekat sini ke Dia keluar kat sini ke kan? So, padang balik semula. So, we have uh, here dua ni. Two, one, uh, P, P4 tadi kita buat ni. P4 and P5. So, we want to know where this point start. Okay, dia boleh juga keluar dekat sini. Dia boleh juga keluar kat sini. Eh? So, we need to find the angle uh, where it departs from the point. Eh? So, that is uh, where our step 8 is. Okay, so step 8, we have to determine the departure angle where the point, uh, the root locus will depart from the con uh, complex conjugate poles. So using this formula, so how do I get 90, 135, 27, 14 and 18? So the next figure, so this is our P4 and P5. Okay, let's say I want to find, uh, sebab kita nak tahu dia depart sudut mana, dia pergi sini ke? Here or here, so this is theta d, one theta d, two. Dia boleh juga sini, kan? So that's why we want to find the theta d, ya. Yeah? So according to the formula, theta d should be uh, minus theta minus summation of theta plus one hundred and eighty degrees. So we have to determine the 
minus of theta. First, minus of theta is the angle uh, of the poles and zeros from the complex, complex conjugate ni tadi. Okay, from the complex poles. So, let's say we have uh, dia punya partner theta 1 di sini. Kepada P4 is 90 degrees. This one is 90 degrees. And then uh, post number 1 with SS equal to 0 to P4 here. Since the sini 1, 1, about 135. And then this is our post number uh, number 2. That's silap saya. So, so minus 3. So kita cari theta dia. And then this is number 4. Kita cari theta dia. And for, for zeros, they should be negative. Okay. So ini yang kita dapat lah. Theta 1, theta 2, 3, 4. Okay, and then uh, 5 is the 0. So, kita dapat negative 68. So, this is how the 68 looks like. Okay. And then, uh, this root locus will cross to the axis, uh, the imaginary axis. So, this is where step number 9. Eh? Step number 9, we need to determine where the point where the system will be stable. Because lepas ini, dia jadi unstable. So that is how we uh, use number step number nine to determine the stability as well as the point of intersection. So, uh, itu yang kita buat last time. So, untuk dapatkan uh, this point of intersection, we uh, revise the concept of Ruth Tiber, Ruth Hewitt's criteria. So, kita dapatkan characteristic equations and then we put into the roof table here. Okay. Uh, to find the uh, the coefficient of the auxiliary equations in order to get k, okay, we look at the element of rho s square. Okay. So, rho s square di sini. Then, kita equatekan equal to zero. So, rho, uh, rho s square, this one is for s square. This one is plus 4k, kan? But then kita masukkan ke sini. So we can get our need value of K. Uh, K daripada sini, sorry. K daripada uh, 104. Tak nampak ya di sini. Okay. Okay daripada atas. So this is for S square. Eh? Sorry. And then the value is 1.13. Kau silap juga. Saya dah betulkan ni. Eh? Kenapa dia tak edit sini. Okay. And then, uh, so finally, this is our solution. Okay, for today, uh, I would like us to do exercises. Okay. Okay, uh, the last concept, yang ni saya terang tak semalam? Eh, uh, last, last kuliah. Okay, let's say we have our our point, eh? Any, anywhere point dekat sini. So, point of our uh, root locus. What it says here is the value of k corresponding to any point s on the locus can be found measuring the length of each vector from the poles and zeros. Let's say last time we have the sensitive sangat yang ni ya. Okay. Last time we have uh, kita ada kosong kat sini and then we have few points lah. Let's say here, and then here, and then here. So what does it mean by the the value of k is actually the distance. Eh? Kita cari distance ini. So this is what it means by distance. And then sini, distance. And then sini, distance. To get the, the, the value of k. So we will do the exercise later on when we go to topic on transient. So what I want to do, uh, you to do today uh, there are two, if you look into the lecture notes of uh, 12A and 12B, for 12A, uh, yang ni 12B, eh, sorry, 12B ni ada dua, saya suruh buat step 1 to 9. So, this is, uh, saya tak nak yang you all buat yang ni lah untuk hari ni eh. Sebab because kalau kita tengok yang ni, dia very simple lah. Satu, dia only ada poles and then dia tak ada complex uh, conjugates. So, so easy. So, I want you to do now. Uh, please give me answers from step 1 to step 9 for this one. Okay. 
So about half an hour plus. Can you do now? So kalau kita tengok okay, sini, sini, dia ada zeros. Yang ni dia ada complex poles. Boleh? Okay, do it now. Uh, doctor. Uh, doctor. Yes. Kenapa? Uh, who asked first? Oh, Ada? Oh, I, I asked first, can Because just now, I saw someone asking also, right? Uh, 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 uh. Okay, tak apalah. Uh, so, so I asked first. Uh, who asked first? Uh, sorry. Uh, so, so the, the previous, uh, can I ask you the previous question that you discussed just now about okay. the um breakaway point mm -hmm. so is it uh, I think I don't break point is equal to negative 2.5 is it is it assume is it be as uh, is it an assumption okay yeah no 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 that's one color this so so tapi kita tak not this is not assumptions eh jump to and be the league because color kita not what nila panjang uh don't worry, your exam will not asking you this. Uh, sebab kalau kita tengok example kita yang ni, mana dia punya soalan dia ni. Okay. This one eh. If you look at this example. Um, dia... Kalau kita nak buat dia akan jadi as per 2, 3, 4, 5. So panjang. Okay. Uh, jadi kat sini kita terus bagi jawapan sahajalah. Minus 2.5. Okay. You can try. You can try. Uh, either method 1 or method 2. So in this case you just uh, get, uh, get uh, this value. Okay, saya tak nak uh, tunjuk kat kelas, nanti dia jadi panjang. You understand what I mean? For? Yeah, oh, okay. Thank you, Doktor. Okay. Uh, okay. Ada lagi question? Seorang lagi tadi? Uh, ah, yeah, Doktor. Okay. Uh, I want to ask about step 7. Okay, step 7. Uh -huh. uh, uh, slide sebelum tu. Eh, the one yang dah lukis. The lukis, okay here. Oh uh, no, this uh, one. Ah yeah. Okay. So um the red line and the green line will meet at the uh, breakaway point, point, right? Ah uh, ah uh, so yeah. So how to know which one will go up and which one will go down? Okay, usually the first one will go up. Kat sini, oh. uh, tadi this one is P one and this one is P two kan? Ah. Uh. Uh, the first one will go up, the second one will go down. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, kalau you all masih ingat lagi ada satu the one that we did on uh, 11B ke 11A yang ada uh, 11B kot saya masuk 11B oh, bukan 11B juga okay. sekejap eh uh, 12A maybe yang ada uh, this one eh this one uh, bila kita buat last time kita ada in this example where is the saya tak bagi dia punya ni eh apa? Uh, this is S plus 2, okay. S plus 2 dengan kita ada complex number eh. Uh, so salah satu akan uh, ber, mati dekat zeros and another one will go to infinity. Uh, this one kita tak buat, uh, you can go afterwards determine uh, because this is a complex conjugate pulse. So please find the uh, departure angle. So yang ni saya tak tunjukkan departure angle sebab topik di sini adalah to show you uh, where it ends. Eh? Masa 12A ni untuk tunjukkan macam mana dia ends, macam mana dia apa ada point. Saya rasa kita buat sampai step step 6. Breakaway point eh. 
And then uh, ya kat sini kalau tengok eh uh, sama jugalah. Dia bila dia sampai di uh, real axis is must always straight line to indicate that the the root locus dalam case ni arise lah. Dia bukan depart from the uh, the uh, apa uh, real axis lah. Eh. Dia arise real axis sebab dua-dua ni akan arrive and then dia break 90 degrees. Okay. Boleh? Oh, okay, Doctor. Thank you. Ada lagi question? Okay, sebelum kita try exercise yang saya suruh try tu, uh, please look at, uh, here, I share you the padlet. Okay, jadi uh, based on bila saya tengok secara rawak, uh, mostly semua dapat, kebanyakannya semua buat yang method differentiation which actually kalau you buat uh, summation punya method lagi senang eh. Saya share. Saya stop share dulu. Okay, uh, kalau tengok dekat sini, uh, this is solution for exercise uh, 4.9. Okay, so the first one, uh, K, K equal to, uh, uh, K mana saya punya K, okay here. Okay, K equal to minus S square plus 5, uh, S square plus S over S plus 5. So, yang ni kebanyakan punya buat dan boleh dapat. Uh, if we kalau kita compare dengan method number two, kalau dia simple like this one, so why not you use method number two? Doctor. Method number two kalau kita tengok senang Doctor. je. Doctor tak share. Tak share? Okay. Uh, Doctor tak share ke Doctor. Doctor offset okay. dah. Okay, sorry, sorry. Hey. Boleh nampak sekarang? Sekarang awak nampak apa? Padlet. Nampak padlet. padlet. Okay kalau if you look at padlet mostly buat differentiation. Saya tengok semua kebanyakan buat differentiation. Saya tak, saya tak, rasa macam tak jumpa lagi yang buat nampaknya. Banyakannya buat differentiation eh. So bila kita ada yang uh, baguslah maknanya you, you all okay faham dan kebanyakan I think uh, most of you can do Pretty well. Nak sebut dia hide. Tak boleh dia boleh hide. Okay, this one kat sini. Okay, kalau kita tengok yang ini, sebenarnya kalau if you look, if you do the method number two, it will be shorter. Okay, so sebab because the the, the uh, transfer function is very simple, so one over yang atas uh, s plus five. And then yang bawah S, S plus 1 kan. So kalau kita guna this method 2, the summation, this one is for poles, this one is for zeros. Dia lagi cepat lah. Okay, the same goes for uh, the second one. Ada dua problem di situ. Kalau saya buat method 1, okay, kebanyakannya buat method 1. And then if you compare this method 2, it will be shorter. Okay, anyway apa-apa pun boleh saja, tak ada masalah as long as you get the, ans the answers. Okay, um, for today uh, ada dua saya letakkan dekat kelas. This one is very simple, I need you to do uh, during your free time but for today saya nak you buat yang ini and then please uh, tell me 
what are the solution step one step two step C okay now buat semua saya tunggu je step one apa jawapan dia step two tu tak apalah then step three so yang penting saya nakkan step four theta dia then dah terus ni okay nak do it now class this one eh selalu je kalau the class activity or buat macam mana dekat dengan lecturer lain? Ah, uh, selain PPT. Ada tak? Uh, kita yeah. buat submission je doktor. Buat macam mana? Ah, uh, doktor yes. akan buat submission doktor. Macam dia hantar link Google form kita submit je sana. Oh, Google form ni. Eh. Sebab saya nak pergi tengok you all buat sorang-sorang tak, tak boleh Okay, jambot kot tu Ya? Yeah? Selalu kalau lecture dia pakai jambot kadang-kadang Jambot eh, okay So you all buat kat jambot lah Okay, saya, saya try jambot lah So tak apa you all buat dulu, nanti kan sambung je Hmm Share link ke? Share Mungkin boleh share link kot Dia tak bagi pula link ni Wah oh, dia minta nama je ni, saya nak type sorang-sorang Yang tu okay. doktor uh, share, okay. with, share with Universiti Teknologi Malaysia tu Boleh tukar jadi anyone Anyone Tekan dekat Universiti Teknologi Malaysia uh -huh. uh, Anyone with the link Anyone with the link So tekan copy editor link. Ah, Okay so saya copy link Doktor viewer Ha huh? macam mana? Tadi dia viewer je so semua orang boleh tengok je tak boleh edit Oh so Dekat saya kena buat Editor ha. Okay so saya share dekat chat kot ha Okay so you all buat semua kat sini Done Nanti bertegar boleh jambot ni ya, ke macam mana? You all boleh buka, uh, boleh flip flip next page, next page ke? Oh boleh
Una clase. Ok, está. Ada siapa yang dah buat? Page berapa? So far belum lagi. Kosong je ni. Put your name eh. Ada siapa yang dah dapat kelas? Hmm. 
Bu daha hoş oldu bu arada. Tak jumpa lagi ni. So kelas ni ni tengah buat ke apa ni? Hello? Hmm. Tengah buat doktor. Tengah buat. Tengah buat dah. Tengah buat doktor. <laughs> so P1 P kita ada. P ada tiga. Betul? Uh, P ada tiga ke doktor? Ha, tiga. Ha, zero. And then minus one plus minus J1 right? Ah ya betul. Sebab tu zero ada satu, zero ada satu dengan z kosong, z negatif empat. Okay, empat. So, let me share this here. Mana saya ni? Saya selalu tak jumpa quick, quick time saya kat mana eh. Oh, share. Okay, so semua dah sampai step berapa ni? Uh, so we have uh, something like that and then step 3 starts at P1, P2, P3 So 1 will end at Z1 go to minus 4 and then the two will end at infinity. Okay. So, kita ada three. Two anchors. Then step four. Kita punya theta A berapa ada? Step five. Kita punya PG ya. Eh? So anyone dah sampai step tu? Theta A berapa kita ada? So 3, 3 minus 1 2 90. So kalau 90 degrees lah ha? 90 and 270 right? Yes. Okay 90 degrees and 270 What about PG dah sampai? PG dah sampai lho? Dia kira dapat. Dia kira dapat.